Well, welcome to the Morning Touch. I'm Darwin Campbell. It's Freedom Friday. Then on Freedom Friday, we like to focus. Focus on something faithful, something true. And today on Freedom Friday, that's going to come from 1 John chapter 1. Something true. John was the type of writer who cut to the chase. He did not use a lot of riddles or questions. John was a straight shooter in his writing. And in this reflection, we see something very special unfold. John calls every child of God to focus on the light and to connect that light to life, real living. Many of us walk on the treadmills of life. We walk on the treadmills of life distracted. We walk on the treadmills of life misdirected. We walk on the treadmills of life without a plan. We walk on the treadmill of life, not knowing what tomorrow holds. We know how uncertain life is. We are told that in Proverbs 27 and verse one, boast not thyself on tomorrow, for you know not what tomorrow will bring. We're told that in the book of James, that our lives are like a vapor that appears for a short time and vanishes away. There are more important things to focus on in life than the distractions that take us away from what is true and what is real. The devil would have you to live in darkness, to have your mind so full of distractions that you cannot see and you cannot focus. But on the morning touch, which is brought to you by Samaritan Touch Homeless Services, we seek to open up the pages of the Word of God and unveil the will of God that will reduce the distractions and that will set your feet in the right direction and on the right path. Jesus said in Matthew 16, 24, if any man come unto me, let him first deny himself block out the distractions, block off the darkness, deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. When I come to Jesus, it is a peeling off of the old man. It is receiving the word and the will of God for my life. So many of us don't give God a chance. I'm asking you on Freedom Friday to dispel of the distractions, to get rid of those things that separate you from having a relationship with God. Listen, 1 John chapter 1, the Bible says eternal life is real. John said, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. First of all, God's word is life and God's word brings life. The life appeared. We have seen it, John says. We testify to it, John says, and we proclaim it. It appeared, we testify, and we proclaim it to you. This eternal life, which the Father has appeared to us. We proclaim it to you that we have seen and heard so that also you may fellowship with us. That is a call, a call for the soul to stop, to look, and to listen, to focus not on the distractions of this life, but John is calling us to come to an understanding that the words of life are the key to real life. The words of life 
or what will help us understand the ups and the downs, the hills and the valleys of life. And it gives us the backing to know that no matter where we go, God is with us. The words of life bring us the key and we need to start tapping it. We need to start using those words to help us. John says, we proclaim it. We've seen it and we proclaim it and we want you to know it. The power of walking in light brings joy. We challenge you today on the morning touch to consider 1 John 1. This is the message we have heard from him and we declare it to you. This is the message that I have read from God's own word and I declare it to you. God is light. God holds the words of life. God holds the word of life in his hand. And in him, there is no darkness. When I walk alone without a relationship with God, I walk in darkness. When I walk alone without a relationship with God, I am left to fend for myself. My friends, you need the word of life. You need the light that will help you live better, breathe better, think better, act better. This word will give you joy and will give you peace. John says the power of walking in the light is a power like no other. We must receive this fellowship. The Bible says we cannot fool ourselves. We are either with him or not with him. Listen, if we claim to have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. My friends, don't fool yourself. Without God, you are lost. Without God, you are wandering like a ship without an anchor. Without God, your tomorrow is in danger. John says, don't fool yourself. Many in this world need to stop fooling themselves. If we claim that we have fellowship, we say that we're a child of God, but we're living and walking in darkness, we're living and walking distracted, we are fooling ourselves. He and only he can lead us to the light of truth. Listen, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, purifies us from all sin. Don't fool yourself. You need Jesus. Don't fool yourself. I need Jesus. If you've got distractions in your life, it's time for you to reconsider the light. If you're walking in a direction down a very dark path, you need to consider turning to the light of Jesus Christ. You need to consider developing a relationship and having fellowship with God. Listen, John wrote these books so that we can come to an understanding of our true need for the word of life, the light of God, and give us direction how to walk in the way and have fellowship one with another. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ purifies us from all sin. But if we continue to walk the way we walk, fooling ourselves, John says, we will find no forgiveness and we will drown in unrighteousness. Too many people are drowning in unrighteousness. Too many people are wandering lost in sin and darkness. Jesus is your only hope. A relationship with God, your only salvation. Receive the engrafted word that's able to save your soul. Listen, hear, 
Deny yourself. This Freedom Friday, free yourself by accepting the free gift of God's grace, by developing a true, walking, working relationship with Jesus Christ and God that leads to happiness and joy and salvation. John said it right. We need to understand the value of walking in the light. We need to understand the value of the words of life, that if we receive them, James says they're able to save your soul. This Freedom Friday, walk in the light and reject darkness. This Freedom Friday, walk in the light and stop loving the world. This Freedom Friday, walk in the light and come out of darkness and be relieved and released from the things that bind you. The Morning Touch, brought to you by Samaritan Touch Homeless Services, where we meet the homeless right where they are. Don't forget to subscribe. Each morning, we give you this message. Today's message is simple. Consider denying yourself and walking in the powerful love and light of God that can bring you peace, happiness, and joy. Walk in the light today. This is our prayer for you in Jesus' name. See you next time on The Morning Touch. God bless you. Have a great Freedom Friday.